Hi, welcome to this video. If you're looking to complete the CompTIA A plus certification, you've come to the right place. In this video, I'll be discussing the key things you need to focus on to pass the CompTIA A plus certification with flying colors. And guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. I've had this certification for a while. I haven't really touched the certification much because I've been so busy at work. But for you, I'm gonna pull it out. So when your certification arrives, we get something like this in the mail. And inside, I have my certification. It also comes with digital badges um, and physical badges so that if need be, I could uh, carry it in my wallet to show someone that I am a A plus certified technician. Pretty cool. Just a, something I wanted to show you guys there to know what you're working for. Um, so let's start part number one, which is just understanding the exam. Uh, the CompTIA A plus certification is a globally recognized vendor neutral certification that validates the foundational sk skills needed to have a successful career in IT. The exam covers a wide, and I mean wide variety of topics, hardware, security, and operational procedures. To complete the certification, you'll have to pass two exams. This is the only CompTIA uh, certification. It does require two exams to complete. So at least, you know, it's just this one. <laughs> um, but you'll, in, in order to pass the full exam and become A plus certified, you have to pass the CompTIA A plus 1001 and the 1002 exams. And then you'll officially be certified and you'll receive your certification in the mail, just like I did. So let's talk a little bit about this study material. There are many study resources available help you prepare for the exam and if you're like me and you stay on YouTube every every youtuber has their own view of what they use to pass the exam I'm gonna give you mine so take with it and do with you do with it what you want um, but just remember this is what worked best for me you can spritz it up you can change it up whatever works best for you but I do think this would be a pretty good roadmap and just in order to get started um, for one I would use professor Messer uh, there is nothing wrong with using free resources, and P Professor Messer has a very robust uh, database of just videos that pertain to the A+, Net+, Security+, and higher competency certifications. So I really, really, really enjoyed his content. Um, I also found that he was one of the few instructors whose content followed the exam objectives. And we'll talk a little bit about the exam objectives later, and you'll understand why I think it's so important that his course followed the exam objective. He has a great selection of videos that cover all topics that are talked about in the CompTIA A plus exam. His videos are very well structured, easy to understand, and very smooth flowing. My second choice, Mike Myers. And the reason, and I'll just kind of give a disclaimer here, the reason I use two different video courses because throughout this course, you'll realize that you're studying a lot of content. So there are gonna be times where you get a little bit bored listening to one of many experts in this subject. So I use two different courses to kind of re-intrigue myself and keep myself going in the times where I got bored listening to one specific person. But Mike Myers, he has a really great Udemy course. The course is taught by himself. He's a CompTIA A plus certified expert. Um, and it covers all key areas, again, that are covered in the exam, including practice exams, interactive simulations, and other helpful resources. My third source, I think, is probably the most integral to your success, which is Jason Dion's practice exams that are on Udemy. These practice exams are great for gauging your knowledge and preparation for the actual exam. They are designed to mimic the format and the difficulty of the CompTIA A plus exams. And when I can tell you from taking his practice exams and taking the real exams, they are almost spot on. Right dead on, like almost at the point of like intellectual property theft. <laughs> I'm joking, Jason Dion. I'm joking. I love you, man. But they're but they're pretty accurate. It's kind of scary how good he is at kind of mimicking these these simulations and mimicking the exam questions. Uh, they provide valuable feedback to you know miss a question it gives a very thorough reasoning behind that and what sections to study and my third not third exam study source but just one my third topic which is the exam objectives and I told you we talk about this a little bit later 
Before you start studying, make sure you go online and download the CompTIA A plus exam objectives and print them out. The exam objectives outline all the topics that you could possibly be quizzed on, and it's important for you to follow them when you study. And back to Professor Messer. This is why I think his content is so valuable, just because it allows a very easy flow in study. It goes right along with the content objectives. You don't have to go back and forth and try to find this specific area. Just right on point. I really enjoyed that. So let's get into what I think you should focus on. We're gonna break this down into five sections. Hardware, you sit to take your exam with hardware. Make sure you have a very solid understanding of computer hardware, including software, motherboards, CPUs, memory, storage devices, and other components. You should be familiar with the different types of peripheral devices, such as printers and scanners. Very integral to, to passing this exam. Operating systems. Know the basics of operating systems, installation, configuration, maintenance. You should be familiar with both Windows and Mac operating systems. Networking. You have to understand the different types of networks. LANs, WANs, VPNs, SANs, CANs, and be able to configure and troubleshoot common network issues. Security. Know the basics of, of computer security. All covered in the exam uh, material. Know the basics firewalls, antivirus, softwares, encryption methods. You should be familiar with data backup and recovery as well. Small little section that they throw in there. And then troubleshooting. I think troubleshooting is likely to be the most critical area to focus on as it makes up for the largest part of the exam. Make sure you have a solid understanding of troubleshooting processes and how to identify and resolve common hardware issues. All right, we're gonna get into our fifth section, career opportunities. With the CompTIA a certification, you have a wide range of opportunities that will be available to you upon passing the certification, all within the IT industry. Some of these roles are going to include help desk technician. Guys, I would say this is probably going to be the most common job that you'll qualify for with the certification. For those who have not worked in IT, this is definitely a great step for you. And for those who already work in the help desk, I think it's going to help you zone in on skills that will help you do a better job at your job. <laughs> Uh, number two, a field service technician. A field service technician is responsible for installing, maintaining, and repairing computer systems. You can see how that would come from a certification just like, like this one. A network administrator. I think this is a little bit far out, but I think still within the same scope. Um, a network administrator is responsible for designing, implementing, and maintaining a company's network. So I think that is a viable career solution that could come from this if you work harder. And then also a systems administrator. A systems administrator is responsible for managing um, a company's computer system and servers. And then my last but not least, IT support specialist. An IT support specialist provides technical support um, to employees and helps resolve common hardware and software issues. And those are the jobs that I think that you'll qualify from from this certification. Very good jobs, all starting off at a very competitive salary, a little bit higher than other entry level jobs in other fields. So that's it, guys. I think by focusing on these key areas, you'll be well on your way to completing the CompTIA A plus certification, line in colors, honestly. Um, and that in itself will lead you to a very successful IT career. Good luck, guys. And if you like the content, please like comment, subscribe. I'm going to go through, I'm going to get done with the Network Plus, I'm going to Security Plus, and we'll go on to some of those other certifications that I think are very important for your career. Until then, peace.